The following is brought to you by Element 14, the electronic design community where you can connect and collaborate with top engineers from around the world. Join now at element14.com. I'm Wesley Gardner, and in today's episode, we will be building and checking out the Microduino Wi-Fi Weather Station. The build-it-yourself Microduino Wi-Fi Weather Station reads and displays temperature, air humidity, light intensity, dangerous gas levels, and air quality levels with the PM2.5 sensor. This is displayed on the OLED display or can be accessed wirelessly over Wi-Fi with the use of Blink. The kit contains everything needed to make the Microduino Wi-Fi weather station, electronic hardware from the embedded processor, the Core Plus module, to the various sensors are included. Also included are the precision laser cut enclosure pieces to house the electronic hardware. The open source code is provided and can be modified for personal customization. Let's get started. Okay, so we have the micro Duino weather station here. Let's get it open and see what we're working with here. So right there we have the case. It's all laser cut. That's the sensor hub. This is the board here that we'll use on the computer to upload our sketch to. And this is the Core Plus. What else do we got here? Got some sensors here, kind of all over the place, so we'll open those up in a moment here. We'll just get everything out of the box. And a bunch of other parts in here, another board. Here's the sharp sensor. We'll take a look at that closer in a moment. And we have that Duo V board or whatever they want to call it here. Let's have a closer look at this stuff here. And then we'll go ahead and we'll get that sketch uploaded. And then we'll get this all put together. So in this one here, I do believe we have the OLED display or the little, yeah, so there it is. And that's the duo board there. So I believe that's going to be on our bottom. I'm not sure, but we'll see. So what do we have here? This is the Wi-Fi chip right here. Let's have a look here. So that's that hub. So that's good for up to 12 devices. So that's pretty sweet. And yeah, this is the, the Core Plus. And this is the brains of the operation. Yep, that's the USB TTL chip right there. So that's the guy we will take to the computer. And we'll upload the sketch to that guy. Let's have a look at the sensors here. And we'll start with this big guy here. I like this guy. These sharp sensors are really good. So yes, this is the Sharp GP2Y10. So we have the an air quality sensor here. So we'll deal with that one last. We're going to have a closer look at that one. And then we have our light sensor here. So this one here though, I hope that works still. Take a look at that. Well, hopefully that still works. This is the RH and temperature sensor here. And I really hope so. Well, I guess we'll find out. That is it. Now let's head over to the computer and we will get that uploaded and then we'll come back and get building this guy. Okay, so before we go ahead and connect our controller board, so I'll go ahead and I will bring up the Microduino website here. Now the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to look at uh, the products here and see if there's anything cool, new. Yeah, okay, we got videos, all sorts of fun stuff happening here. And we're going to go to the DIY kits and then we're going to go to the weather station. Now in this section, we're going to get all our information, everything we need. Uh, and it will basically explain all the product stuff, blah, 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 weather station kit includes. So we're going to scroll down. We're going to go to the Windows setup guide. And there's the Mac setup guide as well. But today we will cover the actual Windows Arduino setup. So we're going to just open that into a new window here because we're going to want to come back and we're going to want to get the kit guide here as well. Either in the Play Store or the App Store, search for blank, you'll come across it. It should be there. So we'll need to download the Arduino ID for Microduino. Let's wait for that to download. Okay, let's open that guy up. 
So down here, if we go to this one here, this is the section we want. We want to download that ESP8266 Blink Weather Station version 2. I will show you on the Arduino software. All I did was I went sketch, include library, and add zip files. And then I went to my downloads folder somewhere here, selected it, and went to open. So now I should have in my examples, I should have the weather station example. And that's way down at the bottom here. So we're going to go ahead, open that guy up, close that other one out, open this up and take a look. Now the first thing we need to do here is go to user define. And what we're going to do here is we're going to enter our SSID, that's your Wi-Fi network name, the password for it, and then this here is your Blink token, which you'll get when you go to the website. And uh, I'll tell you this now, don't directly start creating a new project. Follow the guide on here to first get it set up. So on your phone or tablet or whatever you have, uh, install the app, sign in, then scan this QR code. Once you sign up, you'll get an email and that will have your token. Okay, so now I have my user to find stuff all added there. I'm going to go ahead and just verify and then I will upload the sketch to the Arduino. The power and the uh, TX light should just start going crazy. And then eventually it'll be like blink blink done just like that so let's head back to the bench there now that we've got our sketch all done let's get to putting this together So there we go, we've got the Microduino all put together, all the sensors in there. That one sensor that I thought was damaged seems to be doing all right. So on our phone, we're just going to open up the Blink app and there we go, we've got it all set up now. Now installing it is pretty simple. Make sure you take a caption of that QR code in the description. As long as it's got the Play Store on it, you should be able to get the Blinky app installed on it and run it off of a monitor or just have it as a standalone server somewhere collecting that data. And then eventually coming into it, exporting that CSV data, and then you can review it on your desktop. Basically what they're going to do is send that to the email that you registered it with and there you go, you have your data all there and you can review it, check it out, look at the graphs, everything. So there's no real need to do too much more than put it together. A couple of things that I would have loved was I wish the SD card was included, the slot, as well as the 2.4 gigahertz uh, antenna kit. Now the Wi-Fi module that's on here is okay. It does the trick, but it's a bit weak in my books. It's distance to the router that I had to be was restricted. I had to have it pretty close. That's all we have for today. Do you enjoy environmental sensors? What some of the projects that you've made with them? Let us know in the Element 14 community at element14.com forward slash presents. We'll see you next time. Take care, eh?